he proceeded to actually continue the conversation. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't really want to talk to you. He continued. That's now stalking and harassment. Unwanted contact. When someone tells you they don't want to be bothered, just leave. You have no more conversation, right? So this was an intimidation tactic that you guys trained him to do. And I told him that face to face. I said, you know what? Later down the line, because we had numerous I later find out he's at the library. I later find out he's at Boca Helping Hands. So he's stalking homeless people. That's what he's doing. So of that particular day, he reaches in his pocket. But before he reaches, try to reach in his pocket, I'm like, I'm in fear of my life. You know what he tells me next? And this is, this is how I know what his intentions were. We got the video. He said, well, if you're in fear of your, if you're in fear of your life, then you're free to go. My response is if I'm free to go, then I'm free to stay. He, and before, he, before we got into that interaction, he was like, well, it's a public park. I'm like, yeah, it is a public park. So what are you bothering me for? So when I'm basically trying to tell him, leave me alone, he responds, it's a public park. I said, it is a public park. So why are you bothering me? So he, And that's when I hit him off with, I'm in fear of my life. And he's like, well, if you're in fear of your life, then you're free to go. That right there, that part right there, what we got on video, is the part that I needed to give to the DOJ. His sole purpose of coming over there is to make me leave the park, which didn't happen. Okay? So, he eventually leaves on his own. But after Officer Glass, you guys put a red flag in the system on me. Now, you guys want to play dumb. I've actually seen you before, by the way. You guys want to play this game. You want to play dumb. The red flag is put in the system. You guys don't know my name, so that guy is what, well, look out for this guy, and uh, this is what you guys do. So after that, all these officers started stalking me, which we have this on video. It all started with Officer Glass. This is the cop games that you guys play. Then you say someone's crazy, but I got the videos, right? Now, repeated, trying to get my information, trying to, I had one cop on video, where do you live at? That's racism. That's telling me that you guys don't want me in your community. I never heard a cop ask, where do you live? Where do I live? What do you mean, where do I live? Okay, so the complaints about Officer Glass. Did Correct. Any other complaints about Officer Glass? Um, yeah. Uh, so Officer Glass actually pointed me out. And I later found, I get, I get my information. It's very astonishing. So Officer Glass pointed me out to, I guess, some homeless outreach people in order to get funding. This is what, this is what you guys do. So I'm in, I'm in this library right here. And Officer Glass comes in with this black lady, right? And when I'm walking, I'm walking to the bathroom and the lady gives me this look, right? And then she said something to me, but she's walking with Officer Glass. I'm like, do you know me or something? And then I just kept it moving. I later find out who the lady was. They were, Officer Glass was bringing her to me because when they actually, when I said something, when she said something also, they walked but didn't walk anywhere and then turned around. That means Officer Glass brought this lady to me. I then found out who the lady was from someone else. They said, yeah, man, did that black lady approach you? I said, well, it seems like that's what was going to happen, but she got stopped in her tracks. Who is she? They told me that she was some uh, lady trying to sign people up for homeless services. I'm like, oh, okay. So then that's him pointing me out to people that I don't want to be pointed out to. I don't want your services, period. Um, and then at Boca Helping Hands, um, I noticed, like, because I don't eat pork. It's a lot of people in this community don't eat pork. So... Um, can I stop you for a second? Go right ahead. This, the event that occurred at the library with mm -hmm. the black lady you claimed mm -hmm. that said something to you, do you know when that was? Uh, no, because I didn't record that. It happened so quick. It was probably it was definitely before Christmas, and, and I was right around the same time. So now you're talking about Boca Helping Hands. Has anything happened between you and Glass at Boca Helping Hands? Yes. Uh, when so was this? This is okay. So let me let me get to that. So this is a situation at Boca Helping Hands. This happened recently. This was probably about a week and a half ago or something like that. And 